focuses our attention on that second antiphon, O Adonai. We read Isaiah chapter 11 again. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. This is God's word. When you get to this antiphon and you see that it's in the, most of them in the Latin language, you get to this word, Adonai, and we say, what, what is that word? It's not English at all, it's Hebrew. The Hebrew word for the Lord. And as we focus in on Christ coming at Christmas, at the second coming, it's good for us to see him for who he is. Adonai, the Lord, all capitals. For in that name, he does many things. He reveals himself to his people with that name. He wanted the people of Israel to know who he was, and so he came to them, and, and as we'll pray and sing about, the picture there is Mount Sinai, the Lord revealing himself to his people as the God who is the only God, the God who calls his people to be faithful as he gives him his law comes with power and might. That's the little one in the manger, the Adonai of Mount Sinai. He comes in and reveals himself to his people. They would not have known him or anything about him unless he came and he spoke through Moses. The Lord Adonai, he reveals and he also remembers. He would, throughout the Old Testament, use that name to remind his people that he is faithful. He promised Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And he fulfilled his promise. Every time the Lord would come to deliver his people out of Egypt, to defeat the enemies in Canaan, to send prophet after prophet after prophet. The Lord was always working to keep his promise. The Lord reveals, he remembers, and he redeems. He was revealing himself, he was remembering his promise for this one purpose, to redeem buy back, to pay a price. And it's good for us to focus in on that one in the manger who we can call Adonai. Because in him, our God is revealed to us. If you want to know what God looks like, there he is, in human flesh like you. You want to know how he feels about you. He reveals himself in the word. And there he tells you, I remember. I remember you. I remember the promises I've given you. That's what he reminds us of over and over again in the scriptures. I will be with you. I, I will take you to be with me where I am. The Lord remembers you because he redeems you. Just like he worked throughout history, to, re to bring his redemption to the people of Israel, he has been working throughout the history of the world to redeem you. Although he doesn't look like much in the manger, 
He is Adonai, the all-powerful Lord, who has all power, who has the power to defeat sin, to pay back everything that you owed. The Lord, Adonai, come to us. We pray. Adonai and ruler of the house of Israel, who appeared to Moses in the burning bush and gave him the law on Sinai, Come with an outstretched arm and redeem us. Amen. A third reading from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 and 10. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. In that day, the root of Jesse will sign as a, stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will rally to him, and his place of rest will be glorious. That root of Jesse is obviously the Christ, the one born of the line of David. As we look at that picture, it doesn't seem like much. The line of David had been cut off because of the sins of the people. It looked like it was lifeless, dead. A stump. And yet something started to grow. A miracle of all miracles. That royal line of David lived. It would be a sign. It would be a sign that would gather the people of God, but it would also be a sign to the whole world. The Apostle Paul, others mentioned it. There will be a day when every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. They will see this sign, the stump and a shoot coming out of it. And they will know Christ is God. But we look at the world, we look at the church, and sometimes it looks just like a dead stump. The world ridicules Christ and his church and you, and sometimes we wonder. Then the stump, a shoot comes from it. And on that day we rejoice. We rejoice because he brings life. That's the picture of the Bible over and over again of what Christ does for his church. The stump is dead and yet out of something dead springs life. picture of what happened to you. The Lord says you were born dead spiritually. There's nothing you could do until the one who brought a stump to life came into your heart through his word, through the power of water in his word. He said, you are mine from something dead, life came. We look around at the world to s today and, and see death too. As those who despise him continue on their way of death. This Advent season, as we prepare to celebrate Christ, we know the only thing that brings them life. And we have it. The Christ child. And so he uses us to wave the banner, to say, here he is, the one who gave me life and who gives you life. The root of Jesse, we pray. A root of Jesse.
be standing as a sign before the peoples, before whom all kings are mute, to whom the nations will do homage. Come quickly to deliver us. <laughs> 